PS103 uh, was built in 1877. It is one of the early segregated elementary schools in Baltimore City. This was the premier school for persons who were upwardly mobile that were African American in this community. And can you imagine one of the persons who came in 1914 to begin his educational pursuit was Thurgood Marshall, Justice Thurgood Marshall. So part of the work that we've been doing is to tell his story over and over again through the restoration of this elementary school where it all began. We understand that we need to be, have culturally sensitive, culturally relevant community economic development. And so it meant that this historic property that had these amazing persons that attended it need to be restored in a way that honored them but also prepared people for the future. The Upton community has this incredible master plan that sets forth a vision for inclusive community development. And part of that plan acknowledges the need to celebrate this community's historic significance in the civil rights movement and create a cultural tourism destination. What is happening now is that people from all over the country are now looking at this community as a result through the lens of the life of Justice Thurgood Marshall. And this amenity center will be the portal for visitors, scholars, investors to come into this historic community of West Baltimore. It's not every day that you have the opportunity to finance a project that's so historically significant in honoring the legacy of Justice Marshall, and at the same time, creating new amenities and services for the residents of Baltimore's Upton community. The financing for this project was complicated due to the many layers of capital. We did New Markets tax credits, Federal Historic tax credits, Maryland State Historic tax credits, along with the contributions from federal, state, and local municipalities, as well as multiple charitable organizations. Reinvestment Fund has a long history of working in Baltimore as a CDFI. Our contribution was to provide approximately $8 million of New Markets tax credit allocation for the project. We also provided financing against fundraising as well as historic tax credits in the form of bridge loans. U.S. Bancorp Impact Finance provided a $2.9 million equity investment in new markets tax credits provided by Reinvestment Fund and by U.S. Bank's own CDE. We also provided an additional historic tax credit equity investment in partnership with Enhanced Capital. Cross Street Partners provided development and financial advisory services for the project, which basically means we helped to navigate the real estate due diligence process, design and construction, and we helped to assemble and structure the complex financing that was required to make this project work. We intend to invest over the next two years over $50 million in a four square block area. And it happened because this catalytic investment of new market tax credits. Justice Thurgood Marshall was asked, what is equality? And he said that equality is getting the same thing at the same time in the same place. And as a result, that was my motivating factor as we sought to redevelop the elementary school he attended, PS103. We wanted to have the same quality that it could be anywhere in America. But it happened to be here in West Baltimore. And this quality you see is reflected in what we were able to do.